We here at Science Epic love to play video games. Oh yes, lots and lots of video games. One of the more recent and great games to be released is Bioshock Infinite, an intense first-person shooter set in the beautifully colored city in the sky, Columbia. Bioshock Infinite offers fast-paced action and a storyline with a twist ending that really gets in your head. It's an experience not to be missed by both casual and hardcore gamers alike. One of the main attractions of Bioshock Infinite is the young female protagonist, Elizabeth. During the game, the player builds a deep emotional connection with Elizabeth while discovering the powerful secrets that she keeps. I definitely fell in love with her many times throughout the experience. What makes Elizabeth unique is her ability to manipulate cares to alternate realities of the city of Columbia, each having different outcomes that profoundly affect the world. Her abilities assist the player in combat and play an important role in the progress of the storyline. Towards the end of the game, Elizabeth's mastery over her ability to manipulate tears allows her to travel to many similar but different universes. Look at that. Thousands of doors. Opening all at once. See? They're doors. Doors to to everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. There are a million, million worlds. All different, all similar. Constants and variables. She becomes a master of space and time travel. Scary stuff when you think about it. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. I'm afraid of you. While alternate universes are a popular plot element from sci-fi stories like Star Trek and Bioshock Infinite, could parallel universes actually exist? Could we ever travel to these parallel universes? And are we all just a singular outcome from a series of possible universes in a much larger multiverse? While it may be hard to believe that somewhere out there there's a much better looking version of me, wink wink, Science has always led us to discover that reality can be much stranger than fiction. The idea of parallel universes arose following the quantum revolution at the beginning of the 20th century. Although mathematicians, philosophers, and even theologians since before then had already began to ponder the existence of parallel universes. In fact, a certain children's fairy tale regarding a rabbit hole and a little girl was written by a mathematician who was curious about other universes hovering above our own. Points to whoever can figure that one out. But to truly understand parallel universes, we have to wrap our heads around the concept of wave-particle duality in quantum mechanics. Remember that subatomic particle that couldn't really decide whether it was a particle or a wave? Well, it's back with the vengeance. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics takes this concept one step further in order to solve the conundrum of wave-particle duality. It postulates that instead of collapsing into either a wave or a particle upon measurement, the universe actually splits in two, with one form existing in our universe and the other form existing in a parallel universe. Imagine that a wave property is found in our universe. In a parallel universe, the particle property is found on the same object. The mathematics of this is definitely beyond my reckoning, but it is possible. The universe splits every time you measure a particle. The ramifications of this when taken out of the laboratory is that every time you make a decision that affects an outcome, every single possible outcome from that decision happens within separate physical realities. Mind equals blown. Never got to close with your high school crush? No sweat. In another reality, you're married to him or her. Personally, I've always wanted to be Batman. In a parallel universe, I'm Batman. Or so says the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Anything that could happen, would happen, will happen, and has already happened. I think we've had this conversation before. That was a joke. Is a joke. Was a joke, or will be a joke. Once again, quantum mechanics brings us to the domain of the bizarre. Personally, I just can't feel myself split. It's like that feeling you get when you first discover that the Earth and Sun system is moving, but you don't actually feel it move, but it's moving. So just for a moment, let's entertain that idea of parallel universes. How does it answer some of life's greatest mysteries? 
what kind of answers does it provide to the big questions? Or does it ask even more questions than it answers? For one, it may bring us closer to the elusive theory of everything. The many worlds theory is but one candidate that hints at a solution to answer all physical questions. Where did our universe come from? And why is it the way it is? If we do exist within a multiverse, then where does that put God? Do we shuffle him back to the beginning of said multiverse? Which actually complicates things even more as we wouldn't have an idea when that multiverse began in the first place. Or do we humbly accept that time may not be as linear as anyone ever thought before? And finally, traveling to a parallel universe might be a way for us to save ourselves from the eventual death of our own universe billions and billions of years from now. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and start packing our bags just yet. All of this brings us back to the adventures of Booker DeWitt and Elizabeth. If whatever limited choices we make do profoundly affect multiple different outcomes in a much larger multiverse, then we truly are left with the mysteries that we find at the edge of forever and the truly infinite. My name is Son of Terra 92 and this has been a Science Epic Video Log. Peace.